after you've got a simple uh, bell patch here with the WS-104 oscillator and uh, we've got that serving as the through zero FM carrier and a um, tip top audio sine wave oscillator serving as the modulator that's going through a voltage controlled amplifier which is being controlled by this envelope generator and the output of the oscillator is going through a another voltage controlled amplifier for the uh, for the output envelope and that's being controlled by this envelope generator the two generators are being triggered simultaneously from the MIDI to CV converter and the two oscillators are receiving one volt per octave from the MIDI to CV that's the basic patch okay, the first example is a uh, carrier to modulation ratio of 1 to 2 so our carrier is at 261 hertz and the modulator is 524 hertz and this is what it sounds like getting some inharmonic uh, oscillation because the tip top audio oscillator is not tracking one volt per octave correctly. At this C4 we have both oscillators are tracking uh, this one's 261 Hertz and this one's 524 Hertz. So that sounds pretty good. A few, a few cycles off makes a big difference. Okay the second example is a 1 to 3 carrier to modulator frequency ratio uh, so we have 261 here and 783 on the on the modulator this is going to give us a more plucked sound or a string sound because it's emphasizing the, the second harmonics There's an issue with the sine wave coming from the tip top oscillator to it's kind of flattened out on the top and the bottom so that's producing those additional high frequency harmonics. The modulating oscillator sine wave should be quite clean. Okay, in this example we have a carrier to modulation ratio of 1 to 4 uh, with the carrier at 261 and the, modula the modulator at 1044. This gives us a little bit more hollow sound. Okay, in this example, the carrier to modulation ratio is 1 to 5, so we have 261 on the uh, carrier and 1305 on the modulator. Okay, this is a uh, carrier to modulation ratio of 1 to 6, 